One third of the waste Americans generate is organic. Each day we throw away items like apple cores, banana peels, and dinner leftovers. But these and other everyday items like napkins and pizza boxes can all be composted. Across the country, a handful of cities are making giant strides to implement municipal composting programs and reduce the amount of garbage they are sending to landfills. And while this practice is far from the norm, Minnesota sits just behind California and Washington in the number of cities offering composting services to their residents. Minneapolis is next. The city will begin curbside composting in 2015 in coordination with its Climate Action Plan, which sets a goal of increasing organics to 15% of the city's waste stream by 2025. Adding organics is a small but a very necessary step in reaching those higher goals of achieving a maximum waste diversion. Organics recycling seems to be the next logical step in achieving that vision. Furthermore, diverting wet organics from the Hennepin Energy Recovery Center, a facility which generates energy as an alternative to landfilling, means it can burn waste more cleanly and efficiently. It's a more cost-effective, energy-effective use of that facility to recover things that have high BTU values. The program is starting soon, but are residents ready? We asked around to see what people know. You know that Minneapolis is starting a composting program where they're going to collect your compost? I heard something about it last year, yes. <laughs> yes. Do you think you're going to participate? I will. Definitely. Maybe. So why Minneapolis? Why now? The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency did a study last year in 2013 that showed that 40% of what Minnesotans continue to throw away are items that could have been composted. That's 520,000 tons of organics that could have been diverted from landfills statewide. But... Minneapolis is taking big steps to address this issue. We have had uh, pilot uh, organics collection areas in the city since 2008, and about 5,000 households have been eligible to participate in those, um, in those pilot areas. Our current plan is to get uh, organics rolled out to about 25% of Minneapolis residents by 2015, and then continue with the rest in 2016. We are anticipating in the first year that about 40% of our customers will participate in the program and uh, from what a consultant study found that we will divert about approximately 5,000 tons of material. The program will be available to people that live in buildings of four or fewer dwelling units and will reach 50 to 60% of the population. A curbside composting program available to 200,000 people can have a real impact, but that also means there can be a lot of challenges. That educational outreach is going to be a big challenge. Um, right now there are over 70 different languages spoken in Minneapolis. Um, another one with organics that people often think of is that it's one, going to smell, two, it's going to you know, take so much more time, um, and three, they just don't want to do it. Because the program has yet to start, and because of the graduated rollout, the city still has an opportunity to improve education and outreach efforts. Studies show that people who have never composted perceive composting to be icky, but once they start, the ick factor dissipates. Studies from Seattle, Washington found that regardless of people's prior experiences with composting food scraps, incentivizing residents by providing products like bio bags and kitchen collection bins at low or no cost increases the potential for participation. So how do we get people to start? I think the city's role is going to be providing education and training and support. Increasing recycling and having it stay at a high level over a long period of time is really about behavior change and people creating new habits. When people start participating in organics, not only does it reduce the amount of waste that comes out of their household, but it also gets them looking at what they're purchasing. Our garbage tells a story of how we live our lives. We can burn our trash or we can use it to create new life. By encouraging residents to compost food scraps, Minneapolis can demonstrate that our waste is not just waste. It is a resource.